I grew up a wounded pastor's kid, convinced that if God was real, he wasn't good. And for 11 years of my young life, I was in extreme drug addiction, six of which was spent using crystal meth. During this time, I hated Christianity. And someone gave me this book about Jesus and I miraculously accepted it. Fast forward, it's three o'clock in the morning. I'm in this room with drugs next to me on the side table, reading this book. And it's seemingly the most impossible place for someone to get saved. But in this room, I encountered the presence of the living God. And we begin to have this internal dialogue that went something like this. Stephen, I'm real and I'm good and I have a purpose for your life. What are you going to do about it? And I remember thinking, God, I want to give you my life. I want to quit all this addiction, all this darkness, all this depression that I've known for so long. God, I want to, but I can't. I remember being up for four days and thinking to myself, you're going to die at a young age because you can't quit. That's where I was. But in that moment, the Holy Spirit spoke something into me that changed me for the rest of my life. He said, Stephen, you won't do it. I'll do it. And I took God at his word. I fell to my knees that night in that room and I gave my life to Jesus. I went from addiction to redemption, from meth addict to worship leader because God's real. And who would have thought that the thing I thought would mark my life with shame, he would use to mark my life with his glory. Now, what part of your life, what part of your story does God want to use to mark your life? with his glory.